Today on Dylan Talks Tone, part one slash part two of the clear acrylic strat build slash tear down slash let's figure out what we're doing with this thing. So what's going on y'all? So as you can see, between the great guitar build off and some other things, we've got a bunch of guitar projects going on right now at Dylan Talks Tone. One of them is something that I have been wanting to do for a long time, and that is build up one of these acrylic strats. And it just so happens that I've got a buddy that wants one. And so what we thought we would do is buy uh, the cheapest one on eBay and then take it all apart and then decide what we're going to do with it from that point because we're not going to use everything and then we're going to talk about a couple of little if you want to do this a couple of little things you need to know so first of all let's rip it all apart get it to this point and then talk about what we're going to do First of all, let's talk about the neck. You probably saw in the video, it's kind of an interesting one, there's wires coming out of the back. So this is for the LEDs that actually go in the fretboard markers. Now, not all of these eBay neck slash LED acrylic guitars have lit up fretboard markers, but this one does. So I wanted to kind of try to retain that. The neck is actually a really nice profile. Uh, it feels good. One of the things we're gonna do is this client doesn't like shiny finish. So we're going to do um, something similar to what we did in our last video where we actually, or I don't know, a couple video, whatever. We'll put the little gray thing up here where, you know, we took the finish off the, the, the neck. So we're going to do that. We're obviously going to remove all these stickers and get this all cleaned up. Um, one of the things you probably saw it in the video is I'm probably going to ditch this nut because it actually doesn't fit in the net nut slot very well. So I think we're gonna ditch that and we're gonna cut our own nut. It's like too big, sticks out the sides. And then I'm, as I'm looking at it here, there's a gap between the fretboard and the nut. So that'll come out and then we'll, but we're gonna reuse this neck. I think the frets can be cleaned up pretty easily. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not terrible. There's a couple of high frets. I'll have to, we'll have to do a little bit of work, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll clean up just fine. And I want to retain it because of the LEDs. All right, let's look at some of this other hardware. Obviously, this is Dylan Talks Tone. So there ain't no stock pickups gonna be in anything. And this stuff, well, I don't want to take it all out of here, but it's basically garbage. It's the normal eBay $5 pickups with the ceramic bars on the bottom and the, 
It's got 500K pots in it. We'll get to the pots here in a minute. More specifically, it's got one of those cheap switches. So all of that stuff is going away. When we start looking at the actual hardware, oh, I threw the tuners away already. They didn't even make it. The tuners are junk. They're going in the trash. So we've got some tuners coming for them. Actually, to, in today's UPS. So uh, check out the vlog on Friday and you'll see the unboxing of the tuners and what we're using, the actual specific stuff. I didn't time the video very well. Uh, this is the bridge. It's an okay bridge. Um, you know, it's a thing. It, it functions. But you see it's got this cast. It's got the pot metal um, cast little block on it. So we're gonna use a proper Klusen nice stainless block really it's going to be a nice tremolo um the client wants to go with gold hardware again so we're going to replace it with gold hardware not always my choice but you know whatever okay so one of the things i want to mention uh when you're doing one of these acrylic builds so let's get to let's get to the body so the body's fine the body is is totally fine there's a couple of issues though the client wants to change the pick guard from the clear pick guard to a white pick guard. And this is not exactly the same shape as a stock strat pick guard. So what we're gonna have to do is um, WD Parts has a pretty good, uh, well, a really good pick guard shop. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll literally trace this out on a piece of paper and mark all the holes, trace everything, just send it to them. It'll take them about a week. I think it it costs a little bit. I mean, I'll probably end up having like 50 bucks in the pick guard, but that's okay. Um, Cause it's custom and they'll they'll cut it and everything. I don't know how much it costs. I'm, I'm a dealer with them. So I don't know how much it costs you. So I, you know, like a, uh, just anybody that goes on the internet that's not a dealer, I'm not sure. So just know that, that I can't speak to prices for sure. But um, anyway, so we're gonna trace it uh, on paper. We're gonna get it perfect. And then we're going to have them cut it out and it's gonna be a white, black, white. I like that idea because the way the body is machined in here, you can see this, the, the tooling marks in it and also the wires. So I'm going to do what I can when we put this guitar back together to minimize the number of wires in here. This is the volume pot. So I left this intact for now because I didn't want to mess with I didn't want to, I, I needed to understand how the volume pot um, was wired to all the LED stuff. So I just left it sitting there for now. I didn't want to mess with it for now. I'll, my brain will work on that problem later. And then the other thing is the client was wanting me to add a kill switch right in this area right here. So he wants a, a, a kill switch. So we'll talk about how to wire a kill switch in an upcoming video. And then the other thing is, we were kind of thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you could pull up on the volume pot to turn the LEDs on, but then when it's on, when you click the kill switch, it would kill the LEDs and the audio at the same time. If the switch is off, then you just click the kill switch and it would just kill the audio at the same time. I think I can pull that off and I think it will be very, very cool. So. Um, I'm hoping that we can we can sort that out. It shouldn't be that big a deal. But I think this is gonna be a really cool build. And then what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna put one of our S90s, which is one of our strat size P90s, in the bridge position of this guitar. It's gonna be three single coils. And then we're gonna put two of our, um, two of our hot fives in here. So it'll be have a gnarly, gnarly P90-ish kind of tone in the bridge and then some hotter single coil strap pickups in the, the neck position and the middle position. Um, I think it's gonna be really cool. And what I wanna do with this when we put it all the way back together is make sure that the wiring is really clean, that it looks really nice. It'll have a, a white pick guard on it so it'll be a little easier, but I really want it to be clean. One of the things I wanted to mention, if you do this from for yourself, um, just know that acrylic, can crack really easy like you could have um there's some areas here 
like these areas that are kind of close to edges that it can crack super easy and I don't mean crack like break like the guitar won't break but you'll have these little spider web cracks that come out from the screw holes so what I would recommend is use the exact same hardware that came in it so I'm gonna reuse the pick guard screws and actually even the bridge mounting screws and the neck mounting screws, every, I'm gonna reuse all the same hardware when I put it back together as far as the, the screws go. Because I don't wanna worry about differing diameters or re-drilling holes or stripping anything out or cracking because it'll show, right? Like if you, if you have a little hairline crack that pops out to the side, it'll show. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna to try to be really careful about that and uh, make this thing go. I think it's gonna be an awesome build. Put it in the comments. Is this something you'd be interested in doing? Um, I'm, I think it's really neat. It's gonna be fun. It's something I wanna do for, for quite a while. Um, yeah, awesome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And make sure you go to um, the GGBO, the guitar, Great Guitar Build Off 2021. I did make some design changes. We will get into that in the next couple of weeks. Um, make sure you check out the other builders and not just the invitational ones there's like 300 we have a few viewers um, Ben Burzak I think Rob I think I can't remember all of them I'm sorry if I miss you um, we have a few viewers of regular viewers of the channel that are in the chats and stuff all the time that are participating so go look at not the invitational ones but all the other folks that are doing kits and doing doing stuff there's some really neat stuff going on um, so make sure that you check them out too because that to me that's where it's at I think it's really cool um, yeah hit the subscribe button the like button and uh, be nice to each other in the comments and if you don't uh, I'll block you it's cool have a good one